Sustainable design techniques are more important than ever before. One of the most effective ways to achieve a high quality project with high performance is by exploring certification programs such as LEED and WELL. However, the most rigorous and holistic option is the Living Building Challenge. Hi, my name is Nathan Griffith and I am an architect here at Newman Munson. At Newman Munson, we have worked with the Stanley Center for Peace and Security to transform the former Musser Public Library in Muscatine, Iowa, into a living building. Construction is nearly complete, and the project is on track to achieve a full living certification. In our experience, the Living Building Challenge is a large undertaking, and building owners should understand its goals and requirements. This video will help you understand the Living Building Challenge by discussing its pedal framework, certification pathways, and the types of projects that best align with its goals. The Living Building Challenge is a building certification program created by the International Living Future Institute in 2006. While many verification systems seek to do less harm, the LBC pushes designers and building owners to create self-sufficient regenerative buildings. According to the International Living Future Institute, the Living Building Challenge is more than a certification system. It is also a philosophy, an advocacy tool that seeks to transform how we think about buildings and restore the relationship between people and nature. Unlike many other certification systems, the Living Building Challenge is performance-based. Certifications are based on actual rather than expected performance and occur after the building's first operational year. The Living Building Challenge uses a flower metaphor for its framework. Like a flower, a living building gets energy from the sun, water from the sky, and nutrients from the earth, all while supporting the surrounding ecosystem. In this way, the framework is divided into seven petals. The place petal focuses on the building's location, its engagement with the community, and its support of urban agriculture and human-powered forms of transportation. The water petal focuses on water capture, treatment, and wastewater management. It addresses the chemicals used for transporting, purifying, and pumping water and promotes alternative solutions. The energy petal is designed to eliminate our use of fossil fuels. Fully certified projects must operate year-round using only on-site renewable energy. The Health and Happiness pedal focuses on occupant well-being and sets requirements for daylighting, fresh air, cleaning protocols, temperature control, and access to nature. The Materials pedal seeks to combat building materials' negative impact on human health and the environment. It sets requirements related to chemical contents, local sourcing, and waste disposal. Living buildings support a just and equitable world. The equity pedal sets requirements for accessibility, labor sourcing, and just label adoption. Lastly, the beauty pedal emphasizes the importance of creating beautiful buildings that enhance the public realm. One requirement is an all-day biophilia workshop where project stakeholders explore how to connect the project to nature and the community. The Living Building Challenge offers many certification pathways. Each pedal is divided into separate imperatives or strategies. There are a total of 20 imperatives. Depending on the imperatives achieved, a project can earn one of five certifications. The Zero Carbon Certification is for projects focused on addressing climate change through energy and materials. The certification requires owners to offset 100% of their operational energy through on or off-site renewable energy. Zero energy certifications are projects that achieve zero energy use through on-site renewable energy production. Certified projects must meet 100% of their net annual energy needs through on-site renewable energy. The Core Green Building Certification is for projects looking for a verifiable, holistic, 
and readily available approach to sustainable design. Certified projects must meet the 10 core imperatives of the PEDAL framework. Projects must also verify performance for water and energy over 12 months. The PEDAL certification is for projects that dive deeper into one area of the PEDAL framework. Certified projects must meet all 10 core imperatives and fulfill each imperative of either the water, energy, or materials pedal. The Living Certification is the highest Living Building Challenge certification. A certified project must achieve all 20 imperatives outlined in the pedal program. Requirements differ depending on the project typology. While new buildings must achieve all 20 imperatives, different approaches can be used on renovations, interior projects, and infrastructure projects. The Living Building Challenge is flexible and can apply to any project size or type. It also fits any climate or community. Projects should appropriately respond to their context with design teams crafting regional solutions. Although flexible, the Living Building Challenge adds complexity to a project. It requires an inclusive design process that brings together project stakeholders, community members, and local experts. It can also stretch project timelines. Project teams must perform additional research into materials, the building site, and the local ecology. At the same time, some LBC requirements, especially those related to water, challenge conventional zoning and planning laws. Your schedule should allow for additional meetings with your local jurisdiction. Although the LBC can add complexity to the project, it is an opportunity to demonstrate your values and drive positive change. Living buildings can claim to be the greenest in the world, and owners who take on the LBC are trailblazers, inspiring much needed change. The Living Building Challenge is the most rigorous and holistic building verification system. It raises the bar for sustainability in the built environment by pushing for self-sufficient regenerative design. The word challenge is intentional. Its requirements challenge conventional approaches to design, construction, and urban planning. Rather than setbacks, these challenges should be seen as an opportunity to drive industry-wide change. To better understand the Living Building Challenge, it helps to see it in action. Learn more by reading about the Stanley Center for Peace and Security's new headquarters.